What up, Still Squad? Still Squad. Welcome back to our channel. So we're super tired, as you can probably tell. Look at these bags. Yeah, we've been preparing for the holiday season, but today is actually a very exciting day. Yeah, as you know, like, the holiday season or Christmas time can be financially stressful for a lot of people just trying to do everything they can to provide for their kids and buy them gifts and presents. So every year we try to do something special for families just to try to lift that financial burden. And as a lot of you may know, a couple of years ago, we started the Still Strong Foundation, which financially assists families who are battling childhood cancer after Leah was diagnosed. So as a family, we decided that we wanted to do something for two families who are battling childhood cancer this Christmas. So we partnered up with Dick's Sporting Goods, and we're going to take two families on a shopping spree. Yeah, we're super excited to be able to just be with the families today and actually just bring them cheer and joy around this time. We know that the holidays is not about just giving gifts. It's about being able to be there for people and just make them happy. And that's what we're looking to do today, especially because we know how it feels to be having a child that's battling cancer, especially during the holiday season. And you want to be filled with so much excitement and joy, but it's kind of hard to do when you're emotionally drained and we just want to help them today. We want to be an inspiration and light of just knowing that if you stay faithful, that things can turn around at any moment and just be able to make them happy. So I'm excited for today. Yeah, exactly. Not only are you emotionally drained um, when you're battling this disease, but a lot of people don't know you're financially drained. Um, many families lose 40% of their annual household income after diagnosis. So a lot of these families are in the hospital and they're going without Christmas because they just can't afford to buy presents and gifts. So we want to come in and let them know that we're thinking about them and provide them that holiday cheer because we know it can go a long way as far as lifting their spirits and motivating them to continue to fight. So we're about to go pick up Leah from school and do some shopping. So stay tuned. All right, so we're on our way right now to Texas Children's Hospital. We're supposed to be taking two families on a shopping spree, but we just got the news that one of the kids um, ended up in ICU because he had a bad infection. So he can't go to Dick's Sporting Goods to go shopping with us. So we're gonna go shopping for him and then surprise him at the hospital with his gifts. Oh. Almost went the wrong way on that joint. Hey, we gotta go to the Nike. He like Nike, so we gotta get him Nike down. Over here? The red one? Yeah. Shoot it. Shoot it. Okay. Oh, got you. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. I got a gray. Um. Hoodie? Hoodie, yeah. And then <laughs> I have gray sweatpants. 15 or 14 get. or 10. Some Jordan. Wait. Make, make it spin like that. Look, well, it's supposed to stay that way. Down, 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 Size 10. Whole wall. Whole wall and size 10. They found out that he had a, a tumor, so they sent him over to Texas Children's Hospital and they found out it was cancer and the tumor was growing so fast that they end up having to cut his leg off, um, which has to be tough for him because he was a, a running back. He was a really good running back in high school and in the blink of an eye, his whole life changed. And the one thing that he really loved in this world besides his family was football, was sports. So right now he's going through a lot and we hoping that just showing up, right? And just sharing our testimony and letting him know that we understand what he's going through brings him hope and brings him motivation to continue to fight and to get back out there on the field. It may not be, you know, as a player, but it could be as a coach or if he wants to play any other sport. We just want to give him that motivation and let him know that it's possible. Yeah. So I'm excited to meet him and his family. 
Well, um, when I was in the hospital for the holidays, I didn't like it. It was just not fun. It was boring. You couldn't really do much. So, what I just did was to make sure I had fun was play games, um, smile, laugh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That goes a long way when you have visitors come to the hospital and just show you that they care and show you that they're thinking about you. I know it helped us a lot. What's up, Skill Squad? So we're finally here at Texas Children and we're about to meet Jalen and his family. So we're excited and we heard that the family's extremely excited because, you know, we know what it's like to have to spend the holidays or spend your birthday in the hospital because we had to do that a lot with Leah. So we just want to bring some joy and put some smiles on these families' faces and just encourage them to continue to stay strong and keep fighting. You ready to go meet Jalen? Yeah. Let's go do it then. But we have one little problem. They have all these restrictions right now. Right. Um, visiting restrictions, so she can't go upstairs. Okay. They won't they won't let you go. An ACL injury, then he finally got to plague in, then he broke his leg. That's when they found the tumor. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he got diagnosed right before the start of the school year this year. And his tumor grew so fast they had to end up because a lot of days now you get away with not amputating. Right. But he had to. So his leg's gone from above the knee. How has he been able to handle that? It's tough. Or he don't speak well. about it. Think ready for that to be gone. He's a very upbeat kid, mm -hmm. um, and that the school is amazing. They have incredible support for these kids, and so he's been really, you know, looking forward to getting a prosthesis. And you know, I told him the new ones you can run with and do all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah. introduce him to somebody because uh, on my podcast, I just interviewed another football player who played for the Dolphins who ended up getting into an accident and lost his whole leg, and now he's trying to uh, compete in the Paralympics. So I definitely want to introduce him to him. Because they can relate on a level that me and him can't, but Boy, he can give him that motivation. Yeah, that would be something. Oh, yeah. He's a, just an incredible guy. Incredible. Okay. So. Well, I'm ready to meet him. All right. Lead the way. How y'all doing? Yeah, doing good, good. good. How are y'all? How you doing? I'm Devin. Nice to meet you. I'm just like, I'm just so touched about this. Mm. Like, I cannot. He's away. Yeah, I saw. He's up. He's up. Let's get so yeah. It's kind of yes and no questions because he can't talk too much. Right. But. I see him keep giving me the thumbs up and stuff like that. Yeah, we spent we spent Christmases, like birthdays in the hospital. It's tough because right? you just want to be out and just enjoy your family. But your main focus is just getting them healthy. You know what I mean? How old are the siblings? Uh, the youngest is eight. Uh, he's 15. We got mm -hmm. a 14 year old. Uh, 14, 15, 16. Is the other male. He's a uh, 16, Jordan, mm -hmm. and then the other two girls, 17 and 19. Gotcha. But it's I got like a full house. You know, yeah, the big, for, you know, I'm glad he got to see you, but I like this. Yeah. Hopefully he can see you some other time. Oh, yeah. As I said, I bought some gifts today, but we're going to hold some off until you get out of here. And we can come back and see you. There you go. Yeah, and I'm oh, sure you can write more for y'all. Oh, that's good enough. Just good seeing you. I can't wait to see you get up out of here. We got a lot of stuff we need to do yes. and more gifts to bring you. One more. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. 
It's nice meeting you, man. All right, stay strong. I know you're going through a lot right now, and it's frustrating, but you can make it through it. I've seen the type of attitudes you have just from being here. So keep having that type of attitude, and I'll see you when you get out of here, all right? It's nice meeting you. Yes. Stuff in your mouth. Oh, yeah, she gets it in. <laughs> I told her you was upset you couldn't go back there. It's a pleasure meeting you. Like I said, we're going to see y'all again. Thank you. Thank you so much. You. That's it. You Luck with everything. Yes, sir. Sure. So we just finished up at Texas Children's with Jalen's family. We had an awesome time just being able to sit there and talk with him and talk with his parents and his grandparents. Now we're on our way to Dick's Sporting Goods so we can take another family on a shopping spree. This kid's name is Joshua. He's a big time basketball fan. He played basketball and he was recently diagnosed with brain cancer. And the brain cancer is pretty progressive and the doctors honestly don't think that he's gonna make it too much longer, but we're praying that a higher power is in charge of this and he pulls through this battle. But for right now, we just wanna spend time with him, encourage him, and have fun while we take him and his family on a shopping spree. Shabin, what's going on? Yeah. yeah. Joshua? Yes. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I have your middle name. Oh, do you? There you go. We got the same middle name. Hi. This is Leah. Hey, Leah. How you doing? Hi. And this is my wife, Asha. Asha. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Dude, I'm Asha. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You're so welcome. <laughs> Y'all gotta wake up. We got some shopping to do, man. Yeah, what, what you Y'all gotta wake up. We gotta turn up. <laughs> turn up. Um, I wanna say uh, thank you to Devin. And I wanna, um, <laughs> I'm lost for words. I'm just so sorry. <laughs> So, so what you, we're new at this, so I don't know. What you just, yeah, this, this is my first shopping spree. Just go grab what you want. That's all you got to do. What section you want to start off in? We can do both. Oh, so you don't like LeBron sneakers? He said, mm mm. <laughs> loyal. No, you got to be a Lakers fan now. No more Warriors. Come on. Look. Oh, we gotta change his mind. Let's go. Go touch him. Just touch him. Just, just touch him real quick. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? Oh. Why you do that to me? Come on. Come on. Just think about that right there. Oh my god. Think about that right there. Hey, LeBron, we got you another fan. We got you another fan, bro. I couldn't dare walk in here with. Get some every time. Get some every. You can't turn these. Down. I don't care if you a Steph Curry fan. These things is hard. If that's something you want, get it now. Use it to motivate you to make sure that you push yourself to get better, but don't wait. And I'm so happy, so blessed. I mean, I'm, I can't, I can't even tell y'all uh, how blessed we are for y'all to do this for us. So praise God, thank y'all so much. I'm gonna have to take a hot bath, bro. My foot is killing me. Oh my goodness. I know as soon as I take it off, that foot gonna be like this fat. Mm -hmm. But if he can make it through the pain, I can make it through the pain. Cause this ain't nothing compared to what he going through. That's cool. That's really nice.
Yeah, but I was telling her about how you decided to get us in church right mm -hmm. before everything happened. Yeah. And she said it was her faith that's really pulling her through. That's so, all it was. Cause I was, it was times when I didn't know what to do. Like he was, I want to say like a rock of a person, but he was just, his guard was completely up. He wasn't being open. And like, it was just hard for him to do the day to day basis. And I couldn't really do too much of anything. So I was just like at a point where I was trying, but I knew I couldn't do nothing. Right. So I just relied on God, prayed. I was like, it's going to be hard, but. Like she said before, she might not have had the words, but it was like her presence alone. Just be, somebody being there and letting you know you ain't got to go through it by yourself. Mm -hmm. It meant a lot because I was going through a lot and I didn't know how to verbalize right. my emotions. Because I didn't think people could understand, right? Yeah. So it was, it was hard to do, but just having her there was all I needed. Even if she didn't know, that's all I needed. So we done seen it all. Just taking we it. Done, I done prayed through it all. Do, yeah. It was time when I, like I said, I didn't know what else to do with pray. And sure enough, mm -hmm. like just remain faithful. Right. And just pray, because you never know. It goes a long way. And God, he, he has his hand in everything. Hey guys, so we just got back home. We put Leah to sleep after a long day of shopping and visiting the hospital. We had such a great time. We're super tired now, but it was all worth it just to see them smile and just to, you know, be able to meet with the families and change lives and inspire people just to throw out their battle like mm -hmm. we needed during our battle. So I had a great time. Did you have a great time? Yeah. I mean, for us, it really just shows you what the holidays it's all about, you know, a lot of people get caught up in a gift exchange and things like that. And I get it because that's just how people became accustomed to Christmas. Mm -hmm. But I really feel like the best gift that you can have during the holidays is just a gift of life. You know, family, like you see those two kids right now, they're doing everything they can to just fight to live another day. Right. And a lot of people just get caught up in what they're getting for Christmas, what's wrapped underneath the tree. But. I feel like we tried to be a blessing to two families today, but we were truly blessed because they really put life into perspective for us again. Although we went through a similar battle, it's just like every time you see a family or kids fighting for their life like this, it reminds you, you know, how much you need to cherish life and not take it for granted. So I'm glad we had a chance to really put a smile on these families' faces today. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we were able to take you guys along with us and see some of the work that we're doing out here. And we're going to continue to do it, whether on camera or not on camera, because our heart is really with these families who are battling childhood cancer. So we hope everybody had a great holiday season. You had a chance to spend time with your family and just really cherish those moments because we were at a point in, you know, our lives where we didn't know how much longer we had, you know, with our family member with Leah, but thank God she's going on four years in remission. So, just don't take these times for granted, man. Just use the holidays to connect with your families. If you haven't spoke to your family member in a while, if you haven't spoke to somebody you love in a while, just take this time to reach out to them and, and reconnect and just, you know, just thank God for life. Yeah. So we about to go to bed. It's been a long day. And like we said, we hope y'all had a great holiday season. Happy holidays.